Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another Vallejo paint video for you. Today we're going to be trying out the shifters. Let me show them to you. This is green, silver, blue. Hopefully you can see the number there, 77.017. bright gold brown so that means it's just it, the color should shift from bright gold to brown 77.013 dark green to tin 77.018 gold yellow burned orange 77.015 I bought these separate on eBay I think there is a box and you, you you get a few of them so I you know there's a guy on eBay that sells them and I bought them separately they do require a glossy black uh, surface for the effect to take a so, you know so it could color shift and I have uh, the gasser that you're seeing right now and two other models that we're going to be testing out. But before we continue, in the previous video I used some candy paint. I got some new ones. I got the candy brown 620078, 62071, candy yellow, and this one, candy racing green, which it looks completely different from the picture on eBay so you want to see what I'm gonna paint with this make sure you subscribe and click on that little bell so you can get notified of any upcoming videos okay so the gasser the gasser you see it's glossy I'm gonna tell you how I got there Vallejo Hobby Paint 9.31 ounces. I bought this on Amazon. This thing is amazing. It comes with a fine nozzle and an extra one, which is for like painting bigger area. They're different. You see one is bigger than the other one. So self-explanatory there. This is a flat black. Although on Amazon they sell it as black gray. I don't understand why. I believe this is lacquer, lacquer paint. I do not recommend you paint indoors with this. This is why I already did that step. But it's beautiful. I, if you follow me on, on here on YouTube, you've probably seen that I've I don't think I've ever painted a Hot Wheels black because these other brands the black paint it just it doesn't come out from a rattle can that is from rattle, it doesn't come out like looking good and uh, this thing worked amazing now what I did was after I painted with the Vallejo black there I used my favorite here Minguex polyurethane that's why it's glossy I have here 67 Camaro you can see how flat that paint looks and how smooth you want to do a hot rod that's the paint you need and the other candidate here is I think this is a 75 75 73 Ford Falcon XP from Australia got the steering wheel on the other side now this paint is not a filler paint because it comes out like really really thin you can see the body has some damage there so if you really care you're gonna have to send it you know use something to fill in those little holes or imperfections and then use the the primer but this probably gonna end up as a racer and 
therefore I really don't want to spend the time fixing all those little things because it's just going to get beat up so I have this Vallejo gloss black primer 77.660 I'm going to be painting the Camaro with this get some gloss and then the Falcom I'm going to be using this other one you see it's a gloss black but this is really thick so I gotta thin it down and uh, it doesn't come with a ball inside these do see Vallejo uh, please include the little ball on all your paints makes it a lot easier to shake so let me get the airbrush ready and uh, we're gonna do the Camaro and then the Falcon I'll be back So I was shooting at 30 PSI. This one, not as glossy. That one is this one. This one, a little bit more glossy. Yeah, very similar, but this one a lot easier just to, just to spray over the black with the main wax a lot easier this this paint requires you to thin it down as you saw it requires a little bit of practice so now let me fix this here I keep hitting the cars against each other I really curious about this one because it looks white but it says bright gold and brown I'm gonna do this one with the gasser and we'll see how it comes out the other two we'll see what happens kind of magic trick is this so I just hit it with the with a uh, hair dryer so far it has not created a chemical reaction to the clear coat so let me continue painting and I'll be back
All right, guys, I'm back. Are you ready? Check it out. So this one, if you noticed, I painted two colors, and I noticed that it kind of loses the the shifter if you paint over the same paint. So definitely black. has to be black you can see that it has darker green here and I did not paint on the side that's why I still have that color shift I really like this color I believe that one was this one the dark green tin and on top or was it backwards this one that looks pink hmm. yeah I think on top I got the dark green you know on the side I have yes on the side I have the green silver blue so this one I mean, don't get me wrong. They all are very cool. And wow, wow. I gotta say, this one really, really blew my mind. You see this? The bright gold with brown. Uh, another thing that I learned you really don't need see how it looks green here on the side and then it shifts into gold so that supposed to be brown but I, I don't know maybe me but I, I see it green I don't know what color you guys see painted the base this is 3d printed base 3d printed engine painted it gold with game air Vallejo gold engine did the same thing but I oversprayed it with some smoke from Vallejo just to give it a little different shade there did the tail light headlights signal light This video is on 4K resolution, so make sure you crank up the resolution so you can get the best resolution that you can. Let me see if I can hold it like this. Which one is your favorite? Make sure you let me know in the comments. That's going to be it for today. This, this, this used to be Gasser looks amazing. All right. Just let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Peace out.